For the record, I've done everything perfectly today so no, far. No, you haven't. Go. Hey guys, I'm John B. And I'm Callie Lewis. I think it's safe to say that the Dish Hopper is the most controversial product of 2013, but is it worth all the fuss? The most comprehensive review of all time, right now on Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Domain.com. The Hopper is a DVR for the get what you want, when you want it, where you want it generation. I have to say, it's been years since I even owned a DVR. I actually forgot how difficult it was to watch your content with a normal DVR. I was a little surprised that the Hopper is the first of its kind. Well, it is. The Hopper lets you access your live and recorded TV anywhere at any time. It also lets you skip commercials automatically. Which is why it's been so controversial. CNET awarded the Hopper the Best of CES award. Then, in a very public <laughs> debacle, Ooh. their parent company, CBS, took it away. And Fox is going to co go to court to stop Hopper customers from accessing Fox content on mobile devices. Yikes. There is no doubt it pushes boundaries, yeah. and big, slow companies don't like change. Unfortunately for them, if they stop people from accessing content, then people will just stop watching their content. Absolutely. They'll lose in the long run. But this show is about getting up close and personal with The Hopper. Okay, well, we already mentioned that The Hopper lets you watch live and recorded TV anywhere, whether that's from any room in your house or whether it's while you're at the gym or even when you're on a plane with no internet connection. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's because they integrated Slingbox into the Hopper. So you no longer need a separate device to get that added functionality. And we'll tell you more about the ability to skip commercials and other fancy stuff in a minute. But right now, let me show you the box. This is the Hopper. It'll record 250 hours of HD content or 1,000 hours of standard def on its 2 terabyte drive. Plus, you can expand capacity with external drives. It's got three digital tuners built in, 100 meg Ethernet, component composite HDMI outputs, a 60 minute live buffer, and a fantastic programmable RF remote control. Nice. You can have up to four TVs connected to the system. We're gonna go down under for a minute and use kangaroo references. <laughs> <laughs> the hopper is the mama, the controller. The babies are called joeys. You can have three of these things, so three TVs talking to a single hopper. And they do everything the hopper does except picture in picture. And the the joeys are small enough that they'll fit behind a TV hung on the wall and you won't even notice them. You can record three shows at a time from any TV, except during prime time when you can record up to six shows, but we'll get to that in a minute. Of course, you can pause, rewind, and record on every TV in every room, but you can also access the same show on each TV in the house, so you could be watching Top Gear in the kitchen while making dinner, you can pause it when the plates are dish up, then settle into the living room, watch the same show from the same place when you stopped in the other room. You can't do that with any other satellite receiver system. Sirius XM radio is integrated, so you can listen to music or talk radio easily. And just like on smart TVs, if it's connected to the internet, you'll have access to apps like Pandora, Twitter, Facebook, the MLB network, pay-per-view movies, and Blockbuster at home. Now, here's the first downside. You'll notice I didn't mention Netflix or Hulu Plus. Since Dish acquired Blockbuster, their focus is on pushing that, so you won't have those as options. Okay, this is the part I'm having difficulty understanding. <laughs> Let's talk about the pricing for a minute. Well, I guess I need to clarify, the dish pricing is easy to understand, okay. but it seems really, really cheap to me. I went to dish.com, I configured a package with one hopper and three joeys and 190 channel setup, and the whole thing was like 56 bucks a month. 56 a month? With no real cost for the hopper or the joeys. I don't understand how they can do that. I'm not sure if I did it right. If I did, I do like that. <laughs> Me too, actually. The interface is very nicely done. Every cable and satellite interface has a lot to it and can feel, feel very cluttered, you know? But that's the nature of the beast. But I like that they did a good job with minimizing that as much as possible. The icons make you feel at home since they resemble the apps we're used to on our mobile devices. It feels good and is pretty intuitive. If you watched a lot of primetime comedies and dramas, you'll like this next feature. Primetime 
anytime. You can record up to six different primetime shows at the same time. So a show on ABC, one on CBS, one on NBC, even two on other random channels. That's a lot of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> With this, you don't have to choose between shows. So mom, dad, and the kids can all have their way. You can do that every night all the time if you want. And you, know, you have eight days to watch all those shows. But if you need longer, you can go in and choose to save it to the DVR to keep them as long as you want. You just have to remember to do that. Okay, now you set up your channels for each day and time of the week you wanted to record, but let's say you forget. Right you know, what you had scheduled to record and you decide you don't want it recording all that stuff. You need to go in and disable it 20 minutes before the show begins. Okay, now let's move on to some really fun stuff. But, but wait, before we do, we need to tell everybody about Domain.com. Why, yes, we need to take a blatant, gratuitous commercial break. <laughs> and now it's time for a blatant, gratuitous commercial break. Do you have a domain name? Do you want a domain name? Well, look into my eyes. You're getting very sleepy. Uh, John, P, what are you doing? Well, I'm, I heard this thing called subliminal advertising. I wanna see if it works. First of all, that is not subliminal advertising. This is. You're trying to hypnotize people, but you don't need to do that to get them interested in domain.com. All you have to do is tell them that if they use coupon code GeekBeats, they get 20% off their order. I can't hypnotize them? No, you cannot hypnotize them. And that concludes our blatant, gratuitous commercial break. Okay, now that you've awakened refreshed, we mentioned earlier that Dish lets you skip ads automatically. It's called Auto Hop. It's only available for certain primetime shows, but you can still use the fast forward button on the other ones. As you're looking through the menu, if you see a red kangaroo icon, you'll know it's Auto Hop ready. Uh, it'll ask you if you want to <laughs> enable auto hop, choose yes or no. Maybe you can get Cali auto hopping like that again. <laughs> Starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, basically the next day, you'll be able to watch your primetime anytime shows ad free for eight days. That is awesome. But I actually have something that I think is even cooler. What? Okay, so Dish Anywhere is all about accessing your shows live or recorded on any mobile device. I use this at the gym, makes workouts so much easier. <laughs> the one thing I've noticed is that the sync can get slightly off with live TV, even on 4G. Mm. So I found SD versions are better than the HD versions. Mm. But be aware, you can only have one mobile user at a time. Oh, and here's a huge plus. You can transfer content from your DVR to your iPad, only your iPad for now, for watching when you're offline. It's a separate app called Hopper Transfers. You pair your iPad to the Hopper, super simple, then choose which items you want to transfer. For premium shows like HBO and Showtime, that word is key. You are moving the recordings off your DVR to your iPad. You'll need to re-record the show if you want them on your TVs at home as well for the, the kids or something. Though that shouldn't be hard, you know, those channels record, they replay movies constantly. But I guess you gotta have a lot of space on your on your iPad to, to yes, move them over. Yes, indeed. But regular channels can be available on both devices. So for anyone who travels a lot, this is a big deal. I get a little twitchy when there's no Wi-Fi on a plane. <laughs> Maybe this will calm me down a little bit. That works well for travelers, but if you're at home a lot and you tend to misplace the remote, there's a remote control locator. You push a button on the hopper or an, or on a Joey, and the remote will beep until you find it. The system is also the first satellite receiver to let you wirelessly, with Bluetooth, listen to TV or music stations. So if your wife's working and doesn't want the noise of the TV or someone's <laughs> sleeping, this could be a big help. You'd need to buy a separate Bluetooth audio device for that. And if you have a 3D TV, there's a selection of 3D content specifically available that you can access through Dish. That is a ton of stuff. I don't think I have anything else to add. Indeed. <laughs> the fa in fact, I'm going to give it a Geek Beat Editor's Choice Award. It deserves it. I feel kind of dirty because that whole CNET thing destroyed their entire brand over the hopper system uh. and, you know, best of CES show. But anyway, luckily we don't have corporate overlords breathing down our necks. Yeah. 
Huh? <laughs> I don't even know how to react to that. <laughs> All right, well, let us know what you think. Are you going to buy one? Have you already bought one? We're always on Twitter and Google+. And the 24 by 7 chat room. Yes. And our Google Plus Geeks community. And everywhere. Email everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye. All right, this time, let's go. Now, why don't you guys, when I ask you for a mic check, say it the way you're going to. I did. I did too. No. Yes. I always like that. Hi, I'm Callie. This is time for the show. You blow out my ears. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs>